All organisations want to make better business decisions in less time, with fewer errors and reduced risk. This requires access to historical data stored throughout your business and current forecasting data typically collected from the experts you rely on day to day to deliver results. As you review all this data, you may get answers to some questions, but new questions and what-if scenarios are constantly developing. What if the exchange rate continues to drop? What if there's an increase in the cost of our raw materials? What if we increase prices? Each new question requires a rethink of assumptions, updated numbers and lots of time-consuming, error-prone calculations. You have less time to respond quickly to market opportunities or potential problems. Business Analytics gives you a way to collect, store and manipulate data from across the entire organisation to explore new scenarios and business models and support faster decision making. As we showed in video one, Business Analytics starts with setting up fast access to your day-to-day -day business data. So with that in place, let's assume that you have a trend that suggests fuel prices will rise over the medium term, combined with evidence that there is a softening in the market price of your products. You need to understand the impacts on your profitability and explore options on how best to manage it. This might mean revising your operations plans, trimming expenditure, or looking at equity and funding options. Starting with your sales forecast, you ensure it is up to date. You can easily access the latest numbers at the click of a button. You then input the revised fuel costs and estimated market pricing and recalculate your financial outlook. Other pricing scenarios can also be explored easily seeing the effect each change will have on your forecast comparing one to the other. You decide on a preferred option but need to see how this will affect production so you submit your changes for the production manager to review. The production manager is waiting on your revised numbers to update his reports. He can see when you've completed your initial analysis and can then make his changes knowing he's working off the most recent and up-to-date data. The executive team can see this work unfolding via their dashboards and the finance team can incorporate the final recommendations in their report for the next management meeting. We all know the long cycle times of working with Excel, ERP systems and multiple stakeholders make it extremely difficult to rework scenarios like this in a reasonable time frame. But it's easy to see the power of business analytics when performing advanced what-if modelling consolidating views of disparate data and having access to previous modelling iterations. This really is data-driven decision-making.